Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon to you. Hello, Anne Marie. Uh, my name is Ken Tracy, and uh, this is Thoughts from the Gym. It is Monday morning. It is December 11th, and it's about 11.55, I believe. Wait, no. 10.55. Gotta learn how to <laughs> tell time. When I, when I get home today, I'm gonna get on YouTube and research, how do you tell time? <laughs> but anyway, it's 10.55 a.m., happy uh, Monday. And again, this is Thoughts from the Gym. This is a show I started uh, doing about four months ago. It'll be four months in a week. Uh, it was a show I started at a time uh, when I was kind of feeling soft and squishy and not in great shape and not real proud of the amount of effort I was giving into uh, my body. Uh, <laughs> They say our body is a temple, and perhaps that's true. Uh, but one thing I've realized over the last four months is if you take care of your body, your mind's going to feel a little bit better as well. And over the last few years, I've done a ton of work on, uh, I don't know, getting calmer and trying to get healthier and get more spiritual and work on relationships, especially those with myself. And I've made a heck of a lot of progress. And, uh, but uh, four months ago, I uh, realized that I wasn't in the conditioning I'd like. So I joined a gym, I joined a Planet Fitness in Naperville, and I have loved the experience. Hello, Andrea. I have loved the experience at Planet Fitness, quite frankly. I had belonged to more expensive, kind of fancier gyms in the past, and was always a little skeptical of Planet Fitness uh, with their $10 membership fees a month. I thought, how good could it be? How clean could it be? And cleanliness is very important to me. And I'm so pleased to report uh, uh, nothing but positive things about Planet Fitness. If you're okay bringing your own towel to the locker room to shower off afterwards, you'll love the gym. Uh, and that's the, the big difference for me and uh, uh, one of the fancier gyms I've, owned, I've joined in the past. Hello, Rick. How are you? Coffee is good today. Coffee is good every day, Rick. Uh, but anyway, a few quick thoughts. And as a former competitive runner, I think I'm very competitive, ironically. And uh, one of the things uh, I've struggled with is always being in a rush. And whether it's working out or uh, I do a lot of stuff on social media. And my wife always teases me that I watch my progress too closely. And it's true, and I know it. And I also watch my progress too closely when I go to the gym. Good morning, Mama. And I kind of realized today that what am I in a hurry for? Why am I trying to break a new lifting record every time I come to the gym? And I'm supposed to enjoy the process and enjoy the experience uh, and just enjoy the moment. And if I'm always pushing, always trying to go harder, always trying to go longer, uh, <laughs> frankly, <laughs> It hurts, <laughs> and uh, they say no pain, no gain, but I'll tell you what, I'm 55 years old, and I've realized uh, if you're always pushing as hard as you can every time you go to the gym, uh, you're gonna end up hurting yourself, and you're gonna end up having uh, aches and pains that I just don't wanna deal with on a daily basis. And so today I kinda took off some pressure and said, let's just see what, I, see what happens. I uh, had a great uh, lifting, bench pressed a lot of weight, went a little shorter but more intense on the rowing machine. I uh, did my pull-ups, did my core work, and did a ton of stretching and felt really, really good with the workout as a whole. Uh, a couple of thoughts randomly, I switched gyms. I switched gyms. I, uh, when I uh, first started working out four months ago, I was work, or excuse me, working at a uh, local super target on the north side in Naperville. So I joined a Planet Fitness close to work. Uh, I stopped working there in September, but I continued to commute to this gym. And one thing I know about uh, working out is if you're not, uh, if, if you don't make it convenient and reasonably enjoyable, you're probably not gonna keep it up. And I moved to a Planet Fitness on the south side of town, real close to my house and uh, close to where I have a lot of appointments during the week, and that feels real good. One last thought, uh, I'll tell you. And for anybody out there that doesn't feel they're in the shape they should be, and or the conditioning they should be, and haven't been working out, and have 
gotten out of shape and eaten too much pumpkin pie and turkey, uh, I noticed a couple heavier people today at the gym. And I will tell you, I am more impressed with them and prouder for them. Uh, Cause I'm sure it's hard for any of us to get to the gym. Uh, and it's probably even harder uh, once you get a little further behind than you'd like. So I saw a couple people in there and I was so excited for them. Uh, Cause I think life is about uh, making progress and trying to strive for some improvement while enjoying the moment. And I saw these people working out, trying to better themselves, and I just wanted to give them a pat on the back. I didn't, but I wanted to give them a pat on the back and say, way to go, we're all in here trying to get a little better every day. I'm proud of you, and I'm proud of me, and I'm proud of everybody in here. Uh, I thought I had one more thought. I'm not sure I do have one more thought. But I'll tell you what, it felt great to be uh, working out today. Eh, got a couple people inside the gym walking by the window going, who's this bald guy? Who's here? <laughs> but I'd encourage you, if you're out there thinking about uh, uh, getting in a little bit better shape, uh, do it, uh, but go slow. Don't, you know, again, life's not a race. Uh, you know, we all know what's at the end, <laughs> and uh, we're not racing to it. So if you, uh, you know, it doesn't really, I, and again, I see it in my content creation and I see it in my exercise. It doesn't matter almost how hard I try. It matters how long I keep it up. And because uh, uh, progress is made over time and the tortoise is going to beat the rabbit nine times out of 10 in the race. And, uh, uh, you know, it doesn't do any good to get out of the blocks quick if you end up uh, pulling a muscle and uh, not able to work out in a month. So no matter what you're doing, uh, be kind to yourself, uh, but be consistent and keep at it and enjoy the process. And uh, I will uh, probably <laughs> leave you with that. But I so appreciate it. I got a couple new followers today. That always feels pretty good. Uh, again, I've been on TikTok for about two years now, just over two years. I have a lot of fun. I'm also on uh, YouTube and Facebook and Instagram. Uh, do a Coffee with Ken show more t more days uh, than I don't. And uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I hope you follow my page. Hope you enjoy uh, following along in my journey. I hope you find it entertaining, maybe educational, maybe inspirational, uh, maybe just darn silly. But I want to thank you guys so much for joining. I love life. I love your name. I hope you follow my page with such a positive name like that. I so appreciate you guys for hopping on today. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful Monday. It's kind of chilly out here today. Uh, hope. You Come on back. Come on back. Come on back. Come on back. You're back, you're back. I got a phone call while I was talking. I got to remember to put it to do not disturb. But I hope you're having a great, great day. I hope you're loving yourself. I hope you are forgiving yourself. And as always, I hope to talk to you soon. Bye-bye.